The reason for the travel is to explore the planet, uncover diverse cultures of other people, but most important, discover ourselves. This is Around the Globe. This is Waldemar, he's my master here in Brazil and he's gonna teach me his training methods and the way he trains professional athletes here in Brazil and I'm very honored here to be part of his team so please for the people who doesn't know who you are could you do a little introduction? Yeah, my name is Waldemar Guimarães I'm a professor here in Brazil I've been training a few athletes of different modalities, fighters, ultimate fighters, bodybuilders, Olympic athletes in Brazil. We've been traveled all around the world also. So I did create my own method of training, but most of it was based on what I've been learning in the university, but mainly training in England, in the same very gym, where Dorian built his career, Dorian Yates, six-time Mr. Olympia. So most of what I know about weight training comes from Dorian. I put some interesting characteristics on this training, apply on it, compensatory acceleration and the conceptions of failure, total failure and sub-maximum work what we are going to see on his training on those videos we're going to be shot in here let's start where are we? let's start it okay. welcome we never start training without a proper warming up. We're starting with a general warming up in a treadmill or in a bike for five or eight minutes, just to make sure we rise the blood temperature, which enables us to start training in a safe form. You don't need more than five, eight minutes in a treadmill but the whole point is you must incline the treadmill or go faster the target here is not your heart condition it's just to warm up your body that's the whole point you don't need to stay here for 10 uh, 20 30 minutes first of all you press Yeah. Okay, speed up. Okay, stop the bottle. Now you fly. Okay, speed up.
Okay, now you just stretch. Stretch, stretch your, your elbow. Okay, press again. Okay, that's it. General warm up and local warm up. Then we start here. The inclination for the inclined bench press never incline over 30 degrees. If you do that, we start working more your shoulder than your chest. So maximum 30 degrees. Okay, come on. Control the way down. Control, speed up. Control, speed up. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. More. Easy. Easy. Another two. And one. Okay. That's it. Control the eccentric and speed the concentric. Keep a good control. Control all the way down. Speed up the positive. Okay? I'm going to be stripping. Okay. Yep. Control. More control. Yes, that's it. Okay. Strip two. Come on. All yours. Come on. Speed up. Come on. Two. Okay, okay. That's, that's all right. Well done, Timo. Nice one. The initial position is here. If you try to start from there, you can stress your joints, okay? So, you hold it. Hold the handles, clear the initial position. Okay, that's it. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, that's it. Two, and one, that's it. Avoid using pulls, and don't stop. Don't use pulls. Okay, don't go mad. Use my spot until the very end. Again, here. Come on. Okay, control, speed up. Control, control. Be stable. Keep your body stable. Come on, again. Control the negative. Control the negative. Just another one, just another one. Control the negative. Yeah, that's it. Big amplitude, come on. Come on. Again. Crush, crush together. Again. Crush it. Another one. Crush it. I can see another two, come on. Crush it. Okay, again, control the negative. It's all in your mind, come on. Control it, control it. You say everything is in the mind. He lost control in the last rep with no need for that. Doing like that, they lose the possibility of the stimulus for a proper growth. So, it's been proven, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I have to overcome the mind. You could do the flies, use the dumbbells. But if you have the machine, you're going to keep 
the traction in your chest all the time because of this. The tension is constant throughout the whole movement. So I prefer to do here, it's the best one, not the second the best. You know what I mean? Um, can I lower down bench? Well, look, look at my elbow, like this. I can put the bench a little bit higher and we're going to I perform that way. No, not down. Why not? Because if I keep a 90 degrees angle in my shoulder, you're going to hit much more your front shoulder than your chest. Doing this one, this abduction, you're going to use much more your chest than your front, your front delt. It's not interesting. On the other hand, this complex inside, rotator cuff, comes into a large effort. If you keep this movement like that in, a, in a 90 degrees, so it's better for you to have an inclination at about 20 degrees. You know what I mean? Other thing, your elbow like that, not like this, like that. Okay, let's try. Keep the handles here. A bit here. Yeah. Your elbow. Okay. Your head on the back. Okay. That's it. It's more comfortable for your joints. Okay, it's easy. You speed up. Compensatory acceleration. Speed up. Speed up. Control the way back. Speed control. Speed up control. Another two, and one. Okay, that's it. Make sure you control the negative until the very end. Some people, in the last rep, just leave the machine like that. They, want, they, they, seem to, they want to get rid of the equipment. Don't do that. Control all the time until the very end. Okay? Come on. Okay, your elbow. All right. Use my spot. Control the way back. Use my spot. Do not flex the elbow. Here on the front. Okay. Until the end. Yes, that's it. And again. No impulse. No impulse. Keep your body stable. Come on. Control the negative. That's it. I'm gonna make your life easier. A little alteration in the arms of the equipment, okay? Take your time. It's really hard for me to speed up in the lighter weights because I've always used to do it like uh, the same exact speed. The same speed. Yes, yeah, every rep. Like honestly, I... honestly, it's a waste of time. You understood the physiology yes, yes. around this, huh? aren't you? You can you, you you speed, but you're never losing the control. It's hard, harder for the muscle nervous for me to yeah. speed but control. It's, it's a discussional process. Yes. You learn it. Yes. You, we use it very much with the athletes, with the fighters. They need strong and very fast strikes for the knockout. Normally our fighters they go to the to the knockout. They are knockouters. Most of them. You know what I mean? Hey! Speed. It means speed in a controlled manner. The bodybuilding, from my view, is not different. The difference is when you improve the weights, the acceleration is going to diminish. But in the beginning, when the load is not that high, there's no point of doing it like this. Unless you are a starter. But you are not a starter, you know? Come on. Come on. Yes. 
all the way backwards. That's it, control the way back. Control the way back. No impulse. Control the way back. Remember what I said. Don't give up in the last repetition. Control, come on. And again, and again. Come on. Use my spot. Stop in the back. We're going to continue. Come on. All yours. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Quick and fast. Quick and fast. Until it's finished. Come on. That's it, Samo. That's it. This is total failure. No more possibility of producing movement. And that's it. The signal to your muscle. Grow. Be stronger. Normally, those spec decks are like that, 90 degrees. Because it's inclining, what happens? You're going to achieve much more your pack. If it is like that, in a 90 degrees, again, more your shoulder. You're gonna feel like that. Come on. Here. Again, the angle. It's very important to keep this angle. To keep your shoulder health. Yeah. The point is, never lose the contact of your yeah, yeah, forearms yeah. and the pads. The contact here in the pad. Yeah, until you reach on the front or here, okay? And that's it. Two massing pulls. Forget, forget about this handle. Just bother. I'm going to diminish the weight here. Let's wait for a I better I, execution. I I can't even... Yeah, no, yes, yes, never mind. The amplitude is possible for you, come on. Just keep all the time the contact in the pad. Okay, come on. And that's it. You feel, in this machine, you feel more your chest in this, this insertion, in there, more in that insertion. Could you feel that? Another one, just for you to feel the exercise. Well, that's it. Okay, take your time. Now I'm going to be spotting it, okay? Come on. Control the way back. The contact all the time. Open your eyes. Control the way back. Control the way back. Yes, yeah, never stop. Come on. Come on. Control the way back. Yes. Keep the control. Keep the control. Another one. And another one. I can see it. Come on. One more, mate. One more. Come on. Control the negative. That's it. It was a lot better now that you can help me yeah. not to lose the tension. Yeah, that's it. I, I mean, it was like 10 times better now with your assistance. With my spot. Uh, this chest strain is over. How did you feel it? It's very pumped. I, I know. I'm not able to hug her for a month. <laughs> poor lady, poor lady. Okay, two minutes of rest. The point of closing your eyes, you're supposed to be concentrating, but you need to be concentrated on the real world, 
not just in your imagination. For instance, if you're a fighter, you are on the top of the ring, if you close your eyes, what's going to happen to you? You go to the floor. Here's the same thing. The bar, the weights are going to knock out you. Okay? Open your eyes all the time. See everything around and focus on what you are doing all the time. That's why how I teach everyone, especially the fighters, and they know it very well. If they close it, if they shut their eyes, boom, jab. The fight is over. Keep your eyes all the time open. Okay? Chest is done. I feel very pumped. I've been having a one to two week break before this training camp. So I was very flat in the beginning. Now I feel that my chest is so pumped. Uh, feels great. I feel a lot more confidence obviously since I get the pump. And, uh, now we're gonna train biceps next. I don't know what he's has planned for. Next we're gonna hit the biceps. I don't know what Watermark has planned for the biceps. So let's see what happens. Now, what, what for? The clips is for amateurs. I want to see how you do it first. Okay, let's try it with this way. Project all shoulder backwards, okay? And perform like this. Sit to the, look to the front in the mirror and control more your movement and try to use a larger range of motion until the very end. That's it. You can go upper. That's it. And now speed up. Yes. Keep the contraction in your abs. Okay, that's it. In comparison, what's the difference in between this way and your way? You do this, okay, like this. You use more amplitude. Did you feel it? A larger amplitude. What is amplitude? Amplitude, the length of motion. This is amplitude, the length of motion. Small amplitude, large amplitude, okay? What happens in our method, most of the exercise, you, we use large amplitude in the squatting, all the way down. This is large amplitude, okay? In this way, you work the entire muscle, the entire length of the muscle. If you perform just partial reps, in the regions of your muscle, not attacked by the amplitude, you create a region of weakness. It can be very harmful for you. Okay, I, ha I have to explain what I, why I did, what I did before. So, because I have a, I feel like I have a long muscle belly. When you look yeah. at my biceps, it's yes. very long. Yeah. When I put it like here. I can feel it right here. Feeling Far everything. Less up here. Maybe that's why my biceps uh, get a lot poorer what they are. But now, when we did but this, I feel like I can more. To you felt more. the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. In the second exercise, you're gonna feel much more there. Okay. Come on. All the way down. Come on. Control all the way down. Again. Control. That's it. More weight? Ah, 
course. Honestly, it's kids' ways. Kids' ways. Oh, he's a kid anyway. <laughs> a baby. A baby. A baby bodybuilder. A baby bodybuilder. Take your time. Another minute. I'm gonna be sporting you, and then we're stripping. Okay? Come on. Get the grip. Your abs. Just one movement. Control the way back. Control the way down, come on. Okay, on the bench. Yours. Come on. Come on. You can cheat now. You can cheat now. If necessary, cheat. Yes. Come on. Come on. Another one. Okay. 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 That's it. Now, this one is very interesting. We're going to curl the dumbbell. That way. Okay. We're going to feel, we're going to feel the, your entire muscle working. And then, I'm going to start. Incline on the bench, you're going to carry on, okay? Alternating. Come on. Acceleration. Okay, inclining, inclining. Again. Okay, inclining. Come on, come on. Inclining. Come on. All yours. You can cheat now. Okay, okay. Actually, which was it was not perfect. But what happened? Why you I inclined the bench? It's going to start diminishing. It's starting getting easier for you. Okay? Just like a stripping, but all I do is incline the bench. We're doing again less weights, just for you to feel the technique. Okay, from here, okay, alternating. Come on. Come on. Okay, inclining. Come on. Okay, incline again. All yours, come on. Okay. Did you feel? Yeah. It's starting to get easier. That's the whole point. The length of the movement. Okay? The more the length is, the harder it is. And more effective it's going to be for your growth. Okay? That's the whole point. Come on. Speed up. All the way down. Yes, that's it. Don't separate the balls. Come on. That's it. Here. Inverted. Okay, that's it. Come on, last one. Backwards. Yes, come on. Come 
Come on. Okay. All right, that's it. Biceps training is over. I'll do a few arms. Very good, very good. Um, I think we just a little bit over it for my chest because I had a long break, but I recover. Yeah, for uh, sure. The chest was... In the following weeks, yeah. for sure, he's going to be doing better. Yes, yes than to die. Good training, man. Congratulations. It's a good kid. <laughs> so this concludes the first day of the training camp of Waldemar. Thank you for watching the episode. Remember, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next one. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.